हेलो एवरीवन वर्ल्ड हेपेटाइटिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन एवरी ईयर ऑन जुलाई ट्वेंटी एट एंड टू रेज नेशनल एज वेल एज इंटरनेशनल अवेयरनेस अबाउट हेपेटाइटिस दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व टू इंक्रीज एक्शंस बाय इंडिविजुअल्स partners and the public to achieve global elimination goals by 2030 and that is reducing new infections by 90% and mortality by 65% as compared to 2015 data why we chosen this date 20th july birth date of dr baruch bloomberg the person who got nobel prize for discovering hepatitis b virus its test and the vaccine for this virus so in his memory we observe every year the world hepatitis day to spread awareness on every year 28 july this year's world hepatitis day theme from who is to test treat hepatitis timely testing and treatment of viral hepatitis b and c can save many lives so what is hepatitis it is simply the inflammation of the liver and this can be self limiting or can progress to chronic hepatitis which can lead to progressive scarring of the liver you can say cirrhosis or liver cancer hepatitis viruses is are of five types one is hepatitis a second is hepatitis b third is hepatitis c fourth is hepatitis d and the fifth one is hepatitis e virus and that's the most common cause of hepatitis in the world of these hepatitis b and c are chronic infections that may not show symptoms for a long period sometimes years or decades and then become the root cause of liver cancer according to the global hepatitis report of 2017 The viral hepatitis B and C are the major public health problems which affect around 3 to 5 million people globally and leads to 1.3 million deaths every year. So implementation of prevention and treatment intervention within the context of the universal health coverage framework will reduce infections and deaths due to this hepatitis B and C virus infection. over 90% of the new hepatitis b infections occur through mother to child during the pregnancy or during the birth and during the early childhood days other high risk groups are people who inject drug to themselves because they use the syringes from one person to one men who have sex with men people have or had tattoos or acupuncture partners people living with hepatitis b unsafe sex and the accidental that is the health care worker that is the occupational hazard to them viral hepatitis b and c are the major health challenges because it causes 96% of the mortality from viral hepatitis more than 60% of liver cancer cases are due to late testing and treatment of viral hepatitis b and c infections why the late testing because most of the persons who are diagnosed with the hepatitis b ideally they are diagnosed when they donated the blood because whenever somebody donates the blood the blood is tested for hepatitis virus either they are going for surgery when you planned a surgery and you doctor prescribe the routine test then they come to know or when they are getting insurance some insurance companies ask them to get your blood test and check up and when the mother is pregnant and the doctor prescribe to go for routine testing then they come to know that they are infected with the hepatitis b virus so most of those who know they are uh test either they are positive or negative is accidentally or it's like a iceberg because we only know the tip the rest is below the sea 
Hepatitis B infection in children reduced from 4.7% before the introduction of Hepatitis B vaccine to 1.3% in 2015 after introduction of the hepatitis B vaccine. So how to prevent hepatitis? So viral hepatitis can be prevented and eliminated by various prevention strategies. So in primary prevention we can increase the awareness about all type of hepatitis and which will help reduce transmission in the community. Use of vaccination for prevention of hepatitis A virus and hepatitis B virus vaccines. Hepatitis B virus vaccine is there in the national immunization schedule. Promotion of blood supplies based on voluntary blood donations and precaution to prevent infection through blood and blood products. Safe injection practices along with infection control precaution in healthcare settings. So healthcare workers should take care. Safe sex practices including minimizing the number of partners and using barrier protective measures for example condoms they can protect against hepatitis B virus, HIV virus and possibly against hepatitis C virus transmission. Harm reduction practices for injecting drug users which can prevent hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, hepatitis A virus and HIV transmissions. The occupational safety measures for healthcare workers. The healthcare workers must use personal protection equipments, safe water supply, food safety, improved sanitation, hand washing to prevent hepatitis A and E because these two viruses are most common for epidemics of hepatitis or you can say outbreaks of hepatitis. Counseling to reduce liver related harm such as alcohol and smoking which are injurious to liver and if you have already infected with hepatitis virus they can help your liver to get infected easily. Secondary prevention. Early diagnosis and treatment prevents complications and transmission of the disease to others. Introduction of confirmatory testing and the notification and counseling of blood donors who have reactive results detected during screening of donated blood provide unique opportunities for early diagnosis and medical support to asymptomatic individuals who come to donate blood. So as I said earlier, the person who donates blood is tested for hepatitis B virus. And most of the people who come to know that they are infected with hepatitis B virus can be contacted and those who are asymptom, they can be profiled, their levels of virus can be checked in blood and uh, they can be treated or they can be followed and uh, they can be monitored. So, everyone help us to eliminate hepatitis, go check your status and make your community aware that hepatitis exists in our community and we have to join our hands to eliminate it by 2030 for better future. Thank you. So please subscribe my channel because it will motivate me to bring new topics for you, for your family. Thank you.